With only a couple of months to go until the film's release, Disney tantalized Star Wars fans with a new trailer for the latest chapter in the Skywalker saga, Star Wars The Last Jedi. According to director Ryan Johnson, fans who want to go in completely clean might actually want to skip watching the trailer. But if potential spoilers hold no power over you, let's take a look at what you might have missed in The Last Jedi's new trailer. Luke's Biggest Fear the trailer picks up where The Force Awakens left off, on the planet Octu, as Rey hands Luke the lightsaber that was once wielded by his father, Darth Vader. We then see Rey training with the weapon as Luke looks on, and it soon becomes clear just how innately talented she is. Skywalker looks positively shocked as the ground cracks open while Rey meditates, and it's clear he's having flashbacks to what happened with his last protege, his nephew Ben Solo, who now serves Supreme Leader Snoke under the name Kylo Ren. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It's then that Luke reveals he's actually afraid of Rey's talents, just as we get a more detailed look at the aftermath of the attack on Luke's Jedi Temple by Kylo and the Knights of Ren, who's clearly reluctant to train her, lest she turn to the dark side. Rey's Journey While it's clear that Rey spends some time with Luke on Akto, she's not going to always be on the water's edge. She's also shown approaching what looks like a burned tree trunk in a rocky landscape, and looking down at a book inside Luke's Force-sensitive treehouse. In the previous teaser, she was browsing what many believe is the fabled Journey of the Wills, which means Rey is about to get a lesson in the origins of the Force and the Jedi Order from a new teacher. Later, we see a drenched Luke looking up and saying, This is not going to go the way you think. Considering we also see Rey diving under the water near what looks like a fanged sea monster, it might go exactly like we think it will. That shot directly aligns with rumors that the native porgs of Octu will demand that Rey slay a fearsome sea monster in order to stay on the planet. Kylo's Moment of Truth You may have noticed the space battle shots featuring a new version of the classic TIE Fighter. This is Kylo Ren's personal craft, and it's called the TIE Silencer. It's supposed to be sort of like the original trilogy's TIE Interceptor, and comes equipped with laser cannons and missile launchers. In this battle sequence, it appears that Kylo Ren is setting his sights on a Mon Calamari star cruiser, and since General Leia Organa is shown sitting down on the bridge, the implication of the cutaways between Leia's face and her sons are clear. Each knows the other is there, and Ben has the opportunity to deal a gigantic blow to the Resistance by destroying the ship and ending the life of his mother. Now for the big question, will he or won't he pull the trigger? Finn's Weapon In one major spoiler given away by the trailer, we see that Finn has clearly recovered from the wounds he sustained during The Force Awakens, and is back in fighting shape for a duel against Captain Phasma. Phasma wields a Force Pike, while Finn is carrying a riot control baton much like the one previously carried by the stormtrooper he fought during the battle on Takodana in The Force Awakens. Raider! We also couldn't help but notice Finn's First Order officer's uniform in the following scene as he walks somewhere, escorted by stormtroopers. In case you missed it, he and new character Rose don those uniforms and behind-the-scenes footage that made its way online. So since the background behind Finn and Phasma in their duel looks a lot like the destroyed remnants of the First Order, this duel might possibly take place after a secret infiltration and sabotage mission by Finn and Rose. New Creatures in addition to the previously mentioned Porgs, The Last Jedi is set to introduce a whole bunch of new additions to the Star Wars universe. While we didn't see them in the trailer, Entertainment Weekly broke the news in August 2017 that Octu's residents include a group of nun-like creatures known only as the Caretakers. But the trailer did feature one exciting shot of another new species, the crystalline fox-like animals which reside on the mineral world of Crait. The Battle of Crait it seems clear from the new trailer, and all of the other footage released thus far, that the land battle on Crait will play a major role in The Last Jedi. The new trailer gives us our first good look at the massive firepower that the First Order will bring to bear against the Resistance on the surface of the planet. Those in place of the regular old Imperial Walkers are the new and improved ATM-6 Walkers. One can only hope that these machines are just as susceptible to proton bombs, harpoons, and tow cables as their older cousins, or the Resistance may really be in some trouble. Snoke's Identity The trailer doesn't actually give away Snoke's identity, but it does reveal a big clue. Leading up to the final moments of the trailer, we hear Snoke apparently telling Rey she needs to fulfill your destiny, and it looks like he's using his powers to torture her. This could also mean that Snoke's voiceover from the beginning of the trailer where he talks about someone's raw, untamed power could be directed at Rey, and not Kylo Ren. Let the past die. 
Instead of a 30-foot-tall hologram in The Force Awakens, this is Snoke in the flesh, and his flesh appears to be distinctly humanoid. That seems to blow the Snoke is Darth Plagueis theory out of the water, since he was an alien, and it also apparently debunks the Snoke is Grand Moff Tarkin theory, since Snoke seems able to use the Force, while Tarkin couldn't. As for how he got a hold of Rey to begin with, well, consider the rumors that Kylo will attack Luke and Rey on Octo, and it seems possible that Kylo ends up abducting Rey from the planet and taking taking her back to his master. The Millennium Falcon soars again. In a couple of short clips from the new Last Jedi trailer, we see the Millennium Falcon back in action, diving and twisting through what appears to be an underground labyrinth. Based on the red crystals we can see, it seems likely that the dogfight happens in a cave somewhere on Krayt. And notice how the Porg and Chewbacca are shown together on the ship, but we don't see who's in the pilot seat? If Kylo abducts Rey, this could spur Luke, who's not such a bad pilot himself, to join Chewie and return to his sister Leia to help her take on the first order. Pose Fire In our first glimpse of Poe Dameron from the trailer, he's aboard what appears to be some sort of Mon Calamari lifeboat, which could point to the star cruiser we saw previously getting hit and promises to It'll burn the first order down. He hops in his X-Wing, which appears to have been retrofitted with some sort of afterburner, as he dives and spins in an attack run on the first order dreadnought looming over Crate. Frenemies Last but not least, there's that seemingly friendly exchange between Rey and Kylo. This may be some editing misdirection, but it sure looks like Rey is telling Kylo she needs some advice. This clip of Rey could come from when she tries to persuade Luke to train her, but the clip of Kylo Ren is more elusive. He has a scar, so it can't be a flashback to when he destroyed Luke's temple. Additionally, he's no longer wearing the bandage we've seen in earlier clips. This could suggest that the clip comes from near the end of the movie, but who could Kylo be extending his hand to? It's a clip that neatly echoes the visuals of the scene between Han and his son. So could Kylo be possibly accepting redemption from the hands of his mother or his uncle? Or is it another double cross? <laughs> Thankfully, we won't have to wait much longer to find out. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.